Today's video was sponsored by Mwangi Francis of the United States of America, a true patriot and a Kenyan nationalist at heart. After the death of CDF Francis Ogola, there are obvious arrangements to seek out a suitable person to replace him within the force. And in line with that, there is a video of David Taruski Mayo, which is being circulated all across the internet as he allegedly gets sworn in as the new chief of defense forces. Roll the tip. I, David Kimayo Tarus, commander of the Kenya army, do swear in the name of the almighty God that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Republic of Kenya and to the President as the Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, that I will obey, preserve, protect, and defend this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, and that I will protect and uphold the sovereignty, integrity, and dignity of the people of Kenya, that I will diligently serve the people and Republic of Kenya without fear, favor, bias, affection, ill will, prejudice, or any political, religious, or other influence. In the exercise of the functions entrusted to me, I will at all times, and to the best of my ability, respect, uphold, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution, people, and the Republic of Kenya, and obey all laws, orders, regulations, directions, and instructions concerning the Kenya Defense Forces. So help me God. Now in this video, I want us to look into the authenticity of this video and also who this Tarus fellow is. But before we do that, if you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Ofula, hit the subscribe button. You're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. Now in regards to the authenticity of the clip, it's fake and doctored. That clip was taken on March the 8th, 2024 at State House when Tarus was being sworn in as commander of Kenya Defense Forces and not Chief of Defense Forces. There's a difference. So someone somewhere is playing with people's minds. But nonetheless, the one thing we all know for certain is that where there is smoke, there is fire. So someone or a group of people are covertly trying to push forward the appointment of David Tarus as the new CDF. And to be honest, I won't be shocked if it happens. Because after digging into this man's details, I've come to learn that he is a real contender and might actually be qualified. So here's what we know about Tarus so far. Tarus hails from Uasingishu County and was enlisted in the Kenya Army in 1988. Now on that point of Uasingishu, just look at some of the political players coming from that region. The likes of Oscar Sudi. Jonathan B, aka Kotimoja, again, Senator Mandago. All these people are William Ruto allies and they have the muscle to push the president towards this appointment. So I won't be shocked if it happens. But anyway, back to the credentials of Tarus. According to the Ministry of Defense, Tarus has served as an instructor of the Peace Support Training Center, Joint Command and Staff College for Grade 3 Staff Course, and as a Senior Directing Staff at the Joint Warfare Center. A further delve into his academia reveals that Tarus is actually a very smart chap. He has a Master's in Science from the United States of America. He also has a Bachelor of Military Science from Egerton University, and it doesn't end there. Tarus has a Diploma in Strategic Studies, and also a further Diploma in International Relations from the University of Nairobi. In addition to that, Tarus has been engaged in various peacekeeping missions across the world, notably the United Nations missions for the referendum in Western Sahara, Minurso, and United Nations and African mission in Darfur, UNAMID. So Tarus has the credentials, but even more powerful than that, he has the political backing to get there. Natembea said it the other day that some of these positions qualifications is the first threshold and prerequisite. The second is political backing, which is why I always say politics is very important. And anyone who ignores it will always play second fiddle to others. Now, as I end the video, I would like to say there is a 70% chance that Tarus will be your next chief of defense because 
he is qualified and also the political wind is blowing favorably on his vessel. But again, guys, that's just my opinion. Do let me know your own comments in the comment section below. Do you think Tarus is likely to make it? Or who else do you think is a serious contender? Especially if you are from the military, you can let us know in the comment section below. And with that, if you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Ofula, hit the subscribe button. You're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really really need to subscribe to all right guys adios Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adios.